The Skateboard Watchtower Movie Review is brought to you by... Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to Skateboard Watchtower Movie Review. Movie Review. And what are we reviewing? He's big. He's bad. He's bad. And he's back. And he's, he's the good king. The good king. It is Kong Skull Island. Island. Kong Skull Island. So, yes, and I got to say, this is one of the movies you actually turned me into. I mean, I got, I got to say, I got burnt off with some of the old stuff, or at least, I'm saying, the new, the newer, yeah. or middle, let's we'll say, you got. You had those quick, kind of movies that came out got, in the 70s and you 80s. Got, you got, Good Middle Earth, Earth, Middle Earth, yeah. Top Earth, and all, you know, and Middle Earth, I mean, by, by Low Earth, I mean the 1950s things, or the 1930s with Kong. Godzilla. So, uh, they were great. And they were great. And you got to come out from the 80s and the 90s. Yeah, the 80s sudden. with those, like, that, those two Kong films that were just kind of like... Yeah. And then, uh, I'm like, man, what's happening? And all of a sudden, they come out with the good one. Kong Skull Island. You actually, again, turned me on to this and said, dude, you got to watch it. I'm like, ah. So I went and watched it. Yeah. And I got to say, man, boom, big thumbs up. Oh, yeah. Okay. And unlike Godzilla... Uh, the nine, uh, the uh, 2000 um, I think it's like t mid 2014 yeah, 2014 yeah. where the main character Godzilla is only in it for like 15 minutes yeah you know Kong's in he's in and he, you see Kong in all angles all sides he's big bad and, I'm and, like, I, and I, I like, like how they portray Kong as not just constantly running around chasing people off like he's you he's, see him like take down that guy, that squid you see him take down so that you see him living, you see him in his natural habitat, natural. doing what he normally does. And that's the thing; he's in his habitat. Yeah, he's, he's protecting, and he protects you know the people living on the island. And you know he's like the watcher. And then we find out that he has a whole family, and of course these they're, they're, things, he's the last of his kind. Last of time. And we find out that he's actually still growing. He's still like a little baby. Yeah, and uh, yeah, he's but, still growing. You know, but <laughs> we find out in, in the beginning. You know, these guys go in, they start. Dropping bombs and stuff, the seismic readings and everything, which is a false. Yeah, yeah. Flag. They were trying to draw him out. Yeah, I mean, you know, they, they drew him out. Oh, that. yeah, they, they drew him out. out. That and, and some but other stuff. I like the cinematography. I love. I mean, I love the cinematography. Even those sequences of the Huey the helicopters. Visual effects. You know, the so. Hueys coming in and just. You get images of films like Apocalypse Now. You get images of films like Platoon and. Hamburger Hill and you know those great Vietnam films mm -hmm. where you see that imagery this is basically taking that imagery but it's an adventure it's not meant to be a dark no it's not thing. and that and that's the and thing it's based on the mid in, in the mid uh, 70s or, or late actually 1973 the, yeah and actually that's, that's my only big thing we talk about yeah, my only yeah, big yeah. thing is they talk about us losing Vietnam which you no know, we did not lose Vietnam we actually signed a peace treaty uh, 800 and something days later, the government gave up Vietnam. So, yeah, uh, yeah. the Americans won the war. Uh, and they had a treaty to do that. But what I love about it is, you see, it opens up. There's a, uh, a dog fight yeah. between a P 51 Mustang, an American, and, and a Japanese Zero. Zero. And they land on Skull Island. <laughs> and, it's like a duel you know, yeah. between the two. And it's so great because 
It's and I gotta say, I gotta say this. Uh, the character and the actor. John C. Riley. John C. Riley. I've a lot of time I've ever seen him. He's always played a comedian. Yeah, he's played these Initially, hammed up comedy down, characters, and yeah, he plays. And this time he's problem. doing it straight to the hilt. He's not trying to overcome his character. And he takes that character straight perfectly. I mean, it's, you couldn't ask for. And him. I and I love how he lives that way. He's like, that wall's not to keep him out. Yeah, <laughs> that's not for him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I mean, it's. Uh, and, and just the way he goes about, and he doesn't play it as this crazed guy who's been away from society. He's actually kept his faculties. Kept the same thing. He's actually built the ship using three planes, three yeah, different planes. Yeah, yeah, and I mean he's um, and he and, helps. You know, he helps the people. They've helped him. And and, and I like how they he says they don't talk much. You know, <laughs> they, he learned their uh, body language, the body language, and their, their, the signs and stuff that they make. And and it's so. Great, and I mean that's the thing. Yeah, uh, and and also you got characters like you've got three main characters I think to me, and that's you got John C. Riley character who is he is thrusted in this as a young man, but he's lived there for over twenty years, over twenty thirty. Yeah, years. like I said, he's been shot down. And, Nobody's found him yet. So he's he's and so he knows life, this place yeah. now. Like this has been his world. His and then you've got Samuel L. Jackson who is literally. He's a fighting man. He's That's all he is. He, like won, that. he just wants that combat. And he doesn't want to leave. Like, even, like, they show, like, him in the movie, or him when the war, when people are leaving, they're getting troops out, and he's just... He's, that just, so, yeah, he's, he's just, so, like, you know... He's depressed really, because it's over with, man. He wants to fight, man. And then so you've got... we got to keep this short, so... Right, and um, then you've got John Goodman. And hey, John who, Goodman. Who, who's... Who's, John Goodman actually he plays the nemesis in his part. Yeah, I think I think he really does more than you think he does, and I yeah. love the fact that you never really see him much as a bad guy. He's mm-hmm. always played generally a good guy, but I like the way he plays his character. So I mean, but also I could tell when somebody was making this film, they were making it from here. They weren't just it making was it. A good, no, it was a good thing, but because it's leading, actually, this leading into the uh, King Kong versus Godzilla. Yeah, but the, it was written from here, and it came so, from here. And yeah, and I mean, you know, I love the one uh, uh, back with uh, Jeff, Jeff Bridges. Or Bob Bridges? Jeff Bridges. Jeff Bridges. That was but good. I liked it. It was, it, it was, it was a different take. Show. It's a different it, take. But this, on this take here, it actually shows the King Kong was the was the good guy. He's there protecting yeah the stuff and, and all these creatures that he goes up against. And the thing about it is, you know, that's what I love about about what John C. Riley's character says in that. He says, you know what? Kong is a good king. He said, But when you go around dropping bombs on somebody's house, you so I'm just paraphrasing, he says, What do you expect's gonna happen? <laughs> and that's what happened. He comes out and he starts because yeah, he's yeah, protecting Because yeah, yeah. they open up these holes for these creatures to come out of. And Kong has to fight all <laughs> And them. I love his little thing of like, well, what are these creatures? <laughs> yeah. Skull crawlers. Skull crawlers. Why are they called skull Because it sounds scary. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? In my well, head, it sounded say, cool. <laughs> yeah, I got to say, in the end credits. Oh, my God. I don't want to say what happens, but you got to watch the end credits. It brings tears to your eyes. With, with it does. his character. Because his character, uh, you know, I will say this. Let's just say he doesn't get to go home a lot. But I'm telling you, I'm going to say about that. You got to go watch it. All right. Let, let's put some stars behind this, man. One to five stars on entertainment. entertainment. I'm giving it a five. I've always I wanted give to give it. I, I mean, I give this film a five. I give it a five. I five. Because I, I love it. Uh, yeah. It actually bases on actual, the actual thing. You think who Kong is. He's the king, and he's there to show it. They say, well, Godzilla, king of the monsters? Or here's, here's the king of the monster killer right here. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. That, 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 the that's actual that's, king. Yeah, that's uh, our king. So, uh, yeah, so I give it a five, so that's a ten. So, accuracy, uh, I'm going to give it a four and a half on some things. Yeah, I'm I got to say on that. four. I'll say the four, because I said I didn't like the political thing out of it, if they left a little bit on uh, that off of it. But... Again, just based it on them leaving, not really. Other stuff. Yeah. And, you know, I mean, and there's some other stuff in there that, that, that I think could have been a little bit more uh, accurate yeah, yeah. stuff. But, I mean, other than that, I, I said I give it a fork. I think it, it was it's a good, 
It's a good movie. Yes, but yes. So popcorn value. Ten. Give it ten. Well, you need to give it a nine. I am not gonna give it a nine. I am actually giving it ten. Like I said, even though I didn't like the the, 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 the BS about about the, the overall thing, and it, and it goes because the movies is what. What's the name of the movie? Skull Island. King Kong Skull Island. Kong Skull Island. Island. Who did it show? Kong. Kong on Skull Island. And yeah, it, it, it delivered. Therefore, That's the thing. It I delivered. Give it 18. It delivered exactly what it said it was going to deliver. And, but it threw in some good high, I mean, some good drama. Some good things that you wouldn't expect it into. Oh, no. So no. That's what we'll leave it at. So, there you go. Oh, and I want to say thank you to our sponsor. Sponsor. Uh, Game the, Store More? The Game, game Store. The Game Store More. more. Sorry. The game Maine, store North, North Carolina. Carolina. All right. So, anything else, man? I think that's pretty much got it, man. Watch it. Watch it. Watch, watch it. it. Watch it. Watch it. I'm going to come to this oh. camera and I'm going to make, I'm going to put it on and you're going to watch it intravenously. Go watch it. Watch it. For my set. For my co-host, Nick Rivers. Nick Rivers. Bill Coyle. Yeah, we're out of here, man. Whoop, whoop. Love, peace, and, and chicken, chicken grease. Kong Skull Island. He's a good king. Good king. <laughs> it's good to, to be, be the king. king. <laughs> <laughs>